Good afternoon. This is Kara Coffey of the Ministry of Uncover Your More. I'm going to put a snapshot of my poem, uh, my artwork that I'm about to read to you. This is August the 18th of 2022 that I wrote this one. And then I'm going to need a second poem. And this one was written, it's the next page, and it was written September 1st, 2022. And I want to begin to go back to this kind of poetry where I color this way. It's very detailed. I use the paper that has the dots on it so that you you have your, your squares. It's like um, graph paper, but it's with dots instead of full lines. And it makes it really easy to make geometric shapes and color them with pretty colors. So it, the work turns out beautiful. And I have a bunch of them I haven't done yet. So as I read, I'm going to finish the artwork at the same time. And these are little poetry books that if I were what the world considers a true poet, I would have a publisher who would publish them exactly the same. This is the original, but exactly the same. Um, when I was finished with the book, I'm not finished with this one or the second one I started. So I have a lot of work to put on my blog, which is basic poetry of different types. And that is my uh, secondary of three YouTubes. I pay for two of them. The third one is when my testimony goes way out across uh, lines of understandability. Uh, those, those videos are strange beyond any way to imagine it because I'm dealing with the return testimony of the King of Kings and other people, since I get my dead back according to Hebrews chapter 11. Most people don't understand that and therefore try to continue to call me wrong, tell me how to behave, treat me like a child or a young teenager, and even younger people do that. It's called jealousy. It's called greed. It's called they don't want to come back and own things. They just wanted to move on with their lives. And I've had that for so many years. Um, I am truly solitary now. I have fixed my three main places of dwelling in this house. They're very small. I share uh, two of them openly. I don't want to hoard things. Um, I have all of my artwork, all of my abilities to read more thoroughly than ever before, and painting. I value painting a lot because it helps me heal from being rejected, told what to do, told what's wrong with me constantly with no nourishment, like people coming in and nourishing me face to face. I'm never given nourishment, ever. And there's millions of us like this. I simply give voice to it, so I don't want to overrun this video with that. I want to handle my own poetry respectfully. This little book is called Thoughts. It has pretty flowers on it. It's kind of a um, Renaissance painting book. This is called Oceans. We are oceans and oceans of love waves, crashing upon shores of murderous hordes, dismayed. Why cannot the wicked see our blood dashing upon the rock of their horse spree, killing, killing people, wildlife, and trees? And again, that was August the 18th of 2022. Uh, we were in the midst and still are of um, the Ukraine.
Ukraine-Russian war situation. I have not written any poetry like that since Israel, Hamas, and Palestine. All of that has happened this year. The last poem I'm going to read here is September 1st, 2022. I never realized until just this moment how much I always miss you across time's tick. So let us determine never to live in time again. It makes us much too sick. I never knew until this moment just how all artistic expression of those good and great we, in all capitals, eternally never dies, is free in all capitals, and defies aging rust. Oracle, art, reality, death. I drew Kenaz, K-E-N-A-Z. I believe this one is um, Futhark. Um, runes and it's it means beacon or torch and it's illumination self-knowledge vision you give me only one choice I said on the sidebar one love I knew back then as I know now that my situation was going to be the same that people have rejected me so I'm thankful to have worked very hard to be solitary pagan for real now going into 2024. Let me be clear. I think we should all vote. Let me be equally clear. clear. I'm not going to change what I am doing in any way, shape, or form, no matter who becomes president again. Let me be clear. I'm going away this time tried for years. It was so painful. I couldn't do it. Let me be clear. The bullying is still happening occasionally. We are going to get, Curtis and I are going to get a um, post office box. I'm going to begin to um, outline of other incidences other than what is already going in the box. We are also going to do our will and lock it up. There will be one son born on my birthday, Aries as I am, who will know about it. I want my family to know I've already said who I will personally name executors. I'm not ready to release that information, but I will. And in so doing, please know, I have forgiven everyone and I am starting over. If you ever see me again, some of you who have written me off and walked off my life and been ugly, rest assured I love you and a different woman. And we are still with you, as I told you, as I defended you. I am glad we are in a safe place. I do not assume we're going to always have that safe place. I am scared because of our situations with these wars. And I'm willing to admit it, but I am not going to give in to terrors. And I am going to continue moving in a positive direction and create art, clean my house, fix food, but just for one or two of us. And uh, we also have some games and whatnot we're going to play. And we have a new puzzle with a puzzle mat to do. So, this is Kara Coffee of the Ministry of Uncovering Our Myth. One final announcement. This is my P.S. I kept trying with uh, Lady Bird Johnson's book, The White House Diary, or A White House Diary, to give it its own website. I went downstairs as I was rearranging magic and everything and I found cards drawn in one of my favorite little notebooks. I now have three that I'm privileged to be able to write my thoughts in. 
and uh, they are run by quote-unquote uh, tarot or runestone books. Lady Bird Johnson's book has a set of tarot. They are um, the animal ones and a certain um, a certain runestone book. It is not Roth H. Bloom's runes. I had it I had the book, the large book, and the notebook that I'm, is very special to me because it has crocheted flowers on it and one of them had been lost. So HEB gave it to me for a really cheap price and I put one of my little paintings on it that matched perfectly. I'd already painted it and it matched perfectly the notebook. So that brought me joy. And I glued it on and it's still there, fastened there very nicely. Um, that all is going on in Cover No More blog. Dot blog because after I drew those tarot and placed them gently in the book and closed it and then wrapped the book up in um, a handkerchief so that because it's got a cloth cover, I don't want it to get dirty. I laid it with it and I had forgotten that I had drawn that tarot set and I do that all the time. Runes and tarot are very powerful and that's one of the things that they privilege us privilege us with is they help us learn to wait at the proper time. So I found it today and I reverently brought all of this work upstairs and put it where I will do it daily as opposed to on my dad's desk. Now, here's the uncomfortable part. There has been so much pain stripped through my life that what I did put downstairs will get done in its time and I do not want to announce what it is, but it makes me very sad that I'm actually having to force myself to do this because of how I've been treated. It should be a joy to me. My joy has been stolen from me, time and again. This is Kara Coffey of the Ministry of Uncovering the World.